question 8a is requiring us to copy and co complete this table for y equal for y y is equal to 2x squared minus 3x minus 4. Now, you don't need to work for all the values. At least if you show working for 2, it's okay. So I'll choose the easy ones, 1 and negative 1. So when when x is equal to 1, when x is equal to 1, y will be equal to 2 into 1 squared minus 3 into 1 minus 4. So this will be equal to 2 minus 3 minus 4. And this will give me negative 5. Now, when s equal negative 1, when x equal negative 1, the y will now be equal to 2 into negative 1 squared minus a into negative 1 minus 4. And this will be equal to Mm -hmm. 2 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4. So this will give us 1. So when s equal negative 1, you get 1. And when s equal 1, you get negative 5. Now use your calculator to fill in. The rest because showing work for two is enough. So from your calculator, we fill in all the values, and this is how the table should be looking at when s equal negative two, you get ten, one, then negative five, negative two, five. Good. So now the next thing we do is to draw the graph of y equal 2x squared minus 3x minus 4 and y equal 3x minus 4 on the same as this so let's do that so take your graph sheet take my graph sheet and the scale given to us is 2 centimeter to 1 unit on the x axis so let's draw our axis first that's the first thing we should do let's draw the axis so take your ruler then according to the scales or the values i don't have a bigger negative value so i'll draw my x as this here i don't have bigger negative values for y so my x as this can be here So let's draw the x as is. So this the x as is. Now I just so now we can draw the y as it so I don't know why as this here because the highest value for x is four so this my y as this 
Now let's label the axis. The first that's the first thing you should do. As soon as you draw the axis, you need to label them. Otherwise, you score zero. So remember to do that. If the examiner is wicked, you can give you zero for that, like me. Now x as this then we have y as this over here then the origin is also very important so i have one here two then three and four then we have negative one negative two then negative three we label our y as this, so we have 5, then we have 15, then we have 10, then we have 15, then we have 20, then we have 25. Now over here we have negative 5, like this. Now the next thing is we brought our points. This is negative 25. We brought our points. So negative 3 against negative negative 3 against 23. So this is 20. Then every two box is one. So one, two, three. Every two box is one. One, two, three. So this is point over here then we have negative 2 10 so negative 2 and 10 this point over here then we have negative 1 1 negative 1 1 so we have 1 over here then we have 0 negative 4 so this is negative 4 over here and we also have one negative five so one negative five then we also have two make two two and negative two so one one two so here then we also have three and five. So three here and five here. Then we also have four and sixteen. So four and sixteen. Four and sixteen. So now after plotting all the points, we draw a smooth curve through it. So let's see whether our curve will be smooth. Good. So we draw a smooth curve through it like this. Manage it like that. Then we now sketch. So this curve is y is equal to 2x squared minus 3x minus 4. So we are now sketching y equal 3x minus 4. Now to do that, we need our t table. We need our t table. So look for x and y values. So when x is equal to zero, y equal. We are sketching y is equal to three x minus four. 
or we are drawing that. So when s equals zero, y will equal negative four. Y will equal negative four. So negative four. And when y equals zero, we are going to get s equal four over three. Or one whole number, one over three. So we plot this zero and negative four is here. Then zero, then four over three and zero will be somewhere here. Zero and the x axis and four over three on the y axis. Four over three on the x axis and zero on the y. So this is one. 1.1.125 so in between here between here good so we use our ruler I will draw a straight line. We draw a straight line. So this line now is y equal y equal three x minus four. Now he has finished with this part. The next question is asking us to find or solve the equations 2x squared minus 3x minus 4 equals 0. Now we've sketched the graph of this already. So we sketch this graph already. So the next thing we do is to look at where it is touching the line y equals 0, which is the x axis at this point. And at this point, so let's determine this point. Now, each line is 0 0.1, so this is negative 0 0.1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, negative 8 point negative 0 0.85 because it is between the two. So either x is equal to negative 0 0.85 or this point over here. This is 2, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3 and in between, so 2.35. Or x equal two point three five. So that is our ci. Ci. Then cii. Now cii is giving such that we need to mo modify our function we are supposed to solve cii 2x squared minus 6x equal 0 now we don't have the graph of 2x squared minus 6x equal 0 but we can modify this to look like the graph that we have already drawn, which is y equal 2x squared minus 3x minus 4. So this is what you do. This is what we do. We'll write, we have y is equal to 
2x squared minus 3x minus 4. Now, with this, how can we modify this graph to look like this? So, this is what we are going to do. We have 0 is also equal to 2x squared minus 6x equal minus 6x. So, what we are going to do now is that if we add if we add 3x to negative 6x, we we'll get minus 3x. And we subtract minus 4, then we we'll arrive at this function. But whatever we do to the left hand side, we have to do it to the right hand side. So now we are adding, so that's 3x and we are subtracting 4 so that we can get this function. So we have to do the same thing on the left hand side. So 3x, so 3x minus 4. So now we have 3x, 3x minus 4 is equal to 2x squared minus 6 minus 3x minus 3x then minus 4 minus 4 so when we compare this and this compare this to this it means that this side is equal to this side hence y is equal to 3x minus 4. So fortunately for us, we have the graph of this already. We have the graph of this already. So if you have 2x squared minus 6x equals 0, and we are solving it, it's equivalent to solving 3x minus 4 equal 2x squared minus 3x minus 4. So when the two functions are equal, it is where they intersect. Two functions are equal at where they intersect. So now, where these two graphs intersect is the solution to that equation. So they intersect as x equals 0 over here and x equals 3. So the solution for the solution for 2x squared minus 6x equals 0 is x equals 0 or x equal 3.